So much of life seems to be about uh, registration. And, uh, yeah. It's like the way, the way things line up. considering infinity and you're considering everything like the way things line up the way things line up it's not it's not super easy to, to discern I mean, like points in space you know the way the way shapes come together that's super, that's super not easy. Even like this shape. This shape, which to me, this shape to me is incredibly complicated, but at the same time, Incredibly simple. And basically, it's well, basically, what's this? You see that? Basically, it's uh, you know, well, a square or a cube, uh, granted. Granted, in uh, in this picture, there's an octahedron inside. This is supposed to be like how a how a uh, cube and an octahedron would both fit inside a sphere. And uh, they wouldn't touch at all, but they'd be related, and everything would be like very root two if the sphere was. Uh, Well, the root two to one deal is big in here, but anyway, it's just a, uh, like this is a, a cube, more or less. And then what I did was shrunk these angles and this back corner dotted line shrunk that in by the same degree. And so, when we do that, we get this shape. So this is basically just a, a squished cube. And why it's significant that it comes in with this pattern and that at another time I'd drawn this shape on this page when from years before I'd drawn this pattern 
And now I've made this shape from this shape. That's a pretty big synchronicity. And uh, let's see. Like I said, it's about registration, the way things line up over time. At this very moment, I'm having a very big time registration that I can't give evidence for, but that I'm feeling. I'm feeling big. And, um,. This, uh, this, um, video, this video I made was basically from more or less, let's see, well, this pattern. This was me trying to do this pattern three-dimensionally, which I've yet been able to do. Um, but anyway, yeah, that was me trying to do this pattern three-dimensionally. I've not been able to make it work. Um, this is where one of the pages where I was like trying to work it out. This is related to it. This is a seven pack, though I have this cube wrong. Should be moved out. And this seven pack is kind of what it looks like sideways. Um, yeah, this was kind of the original two dimensional representation um, of the pattern that I'm speaking about. Um, and basically, it was this image rotated on my computer and like superimposed over itself um, which made this image which then I ran into a color filter um, color filter animation which is like a hundred frames of just flipping through the full spectrum of colors um, one frame at a time, and the program I have has a hundred separations of the spectrum, so that's how that worked. And, um, yeah, registration, how things line up, how things line up, how things line up, how patterns happen. But anyway, in this image, you'll see at like 23 and a half, about 23 and a half degrees, right here. That's my uh, point of interest for this video. So maybe I have the wrong uh, movie in the background. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe I have the wrong movie in the background. But yeah, so. This was a big deal for me for uh, quite a time. This was like 2013, 2014-ish. Um, but it stretches back to when I was like four or five years old. And um, the way it all came out was, um, I call it my ABBA 1001, 0110BAAB pattern. Um, which used to be, as a kid, though I didn't use those terms, ABBA, CDDC, CDDC, ABBA, until I realized it could be ABBA, BABBABBABBA. Um, which, yeah, back in, yeah, 20, 2014-ish, I worked out quite a bit on. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I 
try, or at least I tried to work out a bunch on. Um, but I, I don't know if I really got very far with it. And I was wrong about some stuff. Uh, it wasn't super easy to come to. But... Yeah, I um, had some time off from work, so I just kind of stayed up working on this. Um, wasn't uh, easy for me. Um, but anyway, this was just uh, me some uh, trying to work a lot of that out. Shit. And, uh, but anyway... The whole, the whole reason that ABBA came up was, um, when I was a little kid, oh boy, I was at my folks' house. I was at my folks' house, and, um, we were going to go to my grandmother's, and, like, going to Nana's for me was like going to Disney World. You know, it was, like, the best thing. And, uh, I realized... I realized that it would take a half hour to get to Nana's. Sesame Street was an hour. Mr. Rogers was a half hour. So I knew it took Mr. Rogers to get to Nana's. And I was so glad we were going to Nana's. And then I realized that in a Mr. Rogers length of time from now, I wouldn't remember the me that I was wishing to be there. Like, once I went through the land of make-believe and back, like, I wouldn't be the same person. I, w I wouldn't remember who I was anymore because I'd be different. And the me that was there you know, I was sitting there imagining being there, and I wasn't there, and it caused me distress because I wanted to be there. And I realized that when I got there, if I were to remember back to that moment where I was then, at that time, that I wouldn't remember it any more than I would know ahead of time what it would be like to be there and be in that moment because I was wishing for that moment. And when I got to that moment, I wouldn't know the moment that I didn't want to go back to. And basically it was my first existential crisis. Well, no, it was, it was not my first. It was my second existential crisis. I do not yet have a pattern. Mm, okay, maybe I do, but... I've not formalized a pattern for my first existential crisis, and I don't know if I'll ever speak of that, but, um, the ABBA thing came about was, like, trying to remember everything. Like, I thought, if I could remember, this was as a little kid, you know, and I, it's nothing special about it, but it stands out to me, and I just remember thinking, if I could remember everything from here to there, then I would, I would, uh, if I could remember everything between here and there, then when I got there, I could kind of, in a way, be the same person I was at the moment that I wished. So that it, it, it was like trying to create a thread through time from one moment to another, in a way. Almost like a, a, a form of time travel I was trying to create for myself. And the only way that I could figure out to do it was that <clears throat> if I looked at one thing, if I looked at one thing and another thing, and then went backwards, and then the next thing I saw after I repeated that pattern, so if I was traveling ar along the road, I'd say, uh, remote, pole. Pole, remote, 
smokes, shape, shape, smokes. But then before I got to the next thing, I'd go backwards. So I'd say, of course, there weren't remotes then, or at least I didn't know there were, but you know, it was always like couch, chair, it was like store, curb, uh, traffic light, um, Wendy's, um, McDonald's, you know, it was the stuff I saw along the road along the way. But before I got to the next thing, so I'd be like remote, pull, smoke, shape, shape, smokes, pull, remote, so on and so forth, backwards and forwards, and the next thing I saw, and then I'd move it back, and the next things I saw, and I'd move it back, but it would always be in like pairs of two, another pair of two, flipped and flipped. That was always just the way it was. And even at this moment, I can't even get back into it. And I have all this stuff, and when I get back into it, it is, it is dangerous. But I gotta hurry up now, because I got less than a minute left. This shape here, there are these shapes. You can see it here. It's this shape. Which I came to by accident. Just like this pattern I came to by accident. But it's not an accident. 